Hi everyone, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. I thought I'd give you guys a look at CM7, Cyanogen Mod 7, on the Kindle Fire today. So I posted some videos earlier in the week about rooting the Kindle Fire and using a, a tool called Twerp Recovery so that you can make backups and install custom ROMs like this. So there are various types of ROM builds. This one is CM7, Cyanogen Mod 7. Uh, so it's the most stable one at this point in time, the end of February here, uh, because it's got that video support. Uh, everything works really smoothly on it actually. Uh, so this is more of a traditional Android tablet type of feel as opposed to the Kindles, um, you know, how Amazon has their own uh, software developed for it. You, when you install a ROM like this, you're going to get rid of Amazon software entirely and it's going to have uh, the regular Android type operating system like this with the widgets. Um, you got the icons, you can move to the home screens, you got the different home screen windows instead of the carousel. And then you can add shortcuts uh, to different apps, you can add bookmarks, um, you can do all this kinds of different uh, stuff. Uh, that the Kindle Fire doesn't have out of the box. Uh, some of the things you lose though are like the whole tie-in with Amazon apps that are in there but you can still install apps like you got the Kindle app, the MP3 app, and the Amazon App Store so you can still use some of the, the apps like this uh, on the Kindle Fire how it normally was but it's a little bit different setup for instance like the uh, when you use the Kindle for Android app it's just the regular Kindle for Android app so you're not going to have as many options and settings uh, we don't have the different font types. We just have the regular one font type and then we have a few different uh, font sizes and then the background colors. So you get more features when you're using the uh, uh, default Kindle Fire's reading app but uh, you can still get uh, uh, reading done using the uh, regular Kindle for Android app and then like I said you can install the Amazon App Store as well and the Amazon MP3 to get uh, access to those things. Uh, some other things of course when you install CM7 you can uh, flash uh, the Android market onto here so we can go ahead and install apps from the Android market. You got the whole setup here. I found that uh, app com compatibility is better for some reason on CM7. Uh, a lot more apps show up than on when I have my Kindle rooted on the regular Amazon interface. A lot of the apps don't show up for some reason, but there uh, more apps are showing up here on CM7, so I'm getting a lot more uh, app compatibility. Uh, so, some other stuff video works. Let me go ahead and show you the YouTube video. You can also hide this thing just by hitting that. So then we get that up and we get our menu buttons back. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and back out of here. Uh, Netflix works as well. Of course, video games work, so I, obviously Angry Birds is going to work. Uh, Google Maps, so all this kind of stuff you can install once you've got the CM7 on here. Uh, the Google Apps work well. Okay, so basically uh, that's what it is. The Kindle Fire with CM7 on here. There's not a whole lot of details to go in here. It's just the regular set of CM7 that you see on other stuff. It's what it is. It's a custom version of Android 2.3, which one... Now uh, this is Android 2.3.7 actually on here, and then we've also got the, uh, so you've got all these different settings in here, so if you wanted to set it for a different language or something, you could actually do that, unlike the regular Kindle, uh, where you've just got the uh, US support. Uh, so we just come in here to, where is it, um, look, language and keyboard. So we've got different languages in here, a whole bunch of different languages supported. Uh, one kind of annoying thing is that with the Kindle it doesn't have the power, or it doesn't have physical uh, volume button. So uh, one thing I would do is I'd add a shortcut for the volume on here. You could go down to settings. And what would it be under here? Sound settings. So you could just add a quick shortcut to the desktop to bring the sound settings. And you can adjust the volume easier that way since it doesn't have on-screen slider. There's probably an app for it too. You might be able to find an app for the volume on-screen slider. So basically uh, that's just sort of a quick look at CM7 on the Kindle Fire. Uh, this is Nathan from the Evil Creator .com. Check out the Evil Creator, and I have more information on that.